MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It is one of the modalities available in the radiology department. Uh, it is the imaging choice to view certain conditions, especially with regards to the soft tissue. Okay, when you talk about MRI of the spine, it also applies to, to uh, visualize the soft tissue within the, uh, the spine. It shows a much clearer and more detailed image uh, in the sense that it helps to evaluate the disc, the nerves, uh, for example, if any compression to the nerves, and it also helps us to actually give an idea about any marrow involvement. This actually differs with other modalities uh, such as CT scan or plane radiography. MRI generally is very safe. There's no documented studies or any, doc, uh, any papers showing that any long-term hazards of doing MRI. Uh, however, this does not apply to a uh, case of uh, gadolinium where actually it's contraindicated in giving in pregnant ladies and also in lactating mothers. The good thing, one advantage of MRI as compared to other modalities is that it does not use any ionizing radiation. As I mentioned earlier, MRI is generally safe. Okay, however, there are certain conditions where MRI is contraindicated. Okay, for example, those actually having some metal uh, implants within their body, for example, history of fracture where they put implants, or those actually having some heart problem where they actually ended up with some pacemaker, and those actually some have some uh, brain problem which they have some neuro implants. Uh, and, and in addition to that, those actually have some foreign body within the eyeballs, especially those actually have a metal in origin. And those patients are contraindicated. If they are contraindicated, what actually the best option is actually to do other modalities, which is available in the X-ray department, which such as CT scan or ultrasound. Okay, I would like to mention also in those which are pregnant, especially in the first trimester, what I meant is the, the first three months of pregnancy. Uh, generally, we advise them to actually deter from doing MRI or, or can delay the MRI imaging until they come to the second trimester. Reason being is because there is a potential uh, chance that they may end up in a portion. Generally, when you talk about MRI, there are two types. One is what we call the closed or the conventional MRI. Number two is what they call the open MRI. Okay, when you talk about closed MRI, it, it means that the patient undergoing MRI have to go through a tube. Uh, and the patient has to stay there about 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, this, uh, the tube is, will cause some problem to those actually who actually have some claustrophobia. What I mean, claustrophobia is those actually uh, scared of closed spaces or in certain pediatric patients and those who are actually very obese. Uh, generally, it's about more than 150 kilograms. Okay. Uh, as when we talk about open MRI, open MRI is actually is not different from the closed MRI. It has some opening on both sides so that the patient can actually still have some visual of what's happening outside the tube. Uh, that actually enable one of the relatives or friend to accompany the patient and actually hold the patient's hand and give assurance while the patient undergoing the examination. There are advantages of open MRI as compared to the closed MRI. Um, it is more comfortable, it is less confining, um, it is less noisy and because it uses a permanent magnet, so in most hospitals actually prefer it because it's low maintenance. As compared to the closed MRI, it uses a helium gas which is required to be replaced for after a certain period and is quite costly. However, this, uh, there is also a disadvantage of open MRI. Uh, it is because it's using a lower ma a magnetic field. So there are some arguments about the res resolution may be a bit less as compared to op open MRI. However, due to certain advancement in technology nowadays, so there are the recent Open MRI shows actually uh, the image quality as almost as good as the closed MRI.
Like I mentioned earlier, for one examination of MRI, it actually takes about 45 minutes to one hour. So it is very important for the patient to actually remain still, not moving. Because if, you, if the patient moves, that will cause a lot of artifact and actually it distorts the image. There will be a bit, a bit of sound, which is some, maybe some patient will feel very uncomfortable about the sound. So what, uh, the, the alternative that you can provide to the patient is actually we provide earphone or earplug. So at least then we can provide some music to actually give the patient to relax. We also provide a button that I mentioned earlier so that it can always stop, for example, if any problem arises.